just an hour's drive from Stuttgart, in the Swabian forest lies Oberkochen. This quiet provincial town in the south of Germany is home to Carl Zeiss, the company that's responsible for setting new standards in the production of lenses and optics. Carl Zeiss is the exclusive partner of ASML, as lenses play an important role in the semiconductor lithography machines, a partnership that has led to a seismic shift in lithography technology. Ten years ago, we had uh, the feeling that uh, lithography as we knew it would run out of steam. Therefore, we had to come up with a new solution as early as 2005, and if you we were lucky, we could stretch it to 2010. But this would require not an evolution, but a revolution in technology. Hermann Gerlinger is president and CEO of Carl Zeiss SMT in Oberkochen. He's been with the company for 25 years and has fostered the strategic relationship with ASML. Carl Zeiss provides ASML with lenses that project the sharpest possible image of tiny electronic circuits on a silicon wafer. In today's lithography machines, the contrast of the image needs to be within 10 silicon atoms. We knew that we would need an accuracy of only a few single atoms 10 years from now. Consumers and businesses need more powerful and yet affordable computing power, which means that the transistors on the chip need to become smaller every year. And we knew we cannot get to the accuracy of only a few single atoms with the lenses of today, or in fact, any lens at all. We needed a revolution. That revolution has come with a new light source with a much shorter wavelength than the one currently used. You can compare it with this. Let's take a thick marker and write my name in big letters. That is what today lithography machines are doing. If you try to shrink the size of my name, which I do now with the big marker writing my name small, the readability disappears. Only when I go to new technology, in this particular case the small marker tip, I can scale down the writing of my letter to smaller size, maintaining readability. This is the basic principle of the new technology we are pursuing. Martin van den Brink is responsible for products and technology at ASML. He visits Carl Zeiss many times a year to discuss technology and product development. The bad thing of the new lithographic technology, it uses light, which is absorbed by most materials, like the glasses of which lenses are made, as well as the air in between the lenses. After 25 years developing bigger and better lenses, ASML and Carl Zeiss now needed to develop a new optical system that would not absorb the energy. They figured that if they removed all the air and used mirrors instead of lenses, it might just work. Now Carl Zeiss needed to prove it could actually make these mirrors. The mirrors are so incredibly smooth. If you would compare it, for example, with a map of Germany, over a length of 1,000 kilometer, you would stumble over an obstacle of about one millimeter. It took Carl Zeiss more than 10 years and tens of millions of euros to develop the new optical system that's currently used in two test machines. Actual chips won't be produced for mass consumption before 2012. Indeed, it's a long bet on the future. This new technology is a proof for the close cooperation between ASML and Carl Zeiss. It's no ordinary partnership, we call it two companies, one business. Only when you completely honest uh, and transparent of the plans and strategy, you can ask your suppliers to make the necessary investment required for realization of the innovation. This is our basic principle in our relationship with our supply base. ASML's unique supply chain has been key to its ability to innovate more quickly than the competition. Thanks to partners like Carl Zeiss here in Oberkochen, Consumers can expect their gadgets to become smarter, cheaper and more energy efficient for at least another decade.